Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana, filmed in glorious Banana-rama. Nineteen fifty-eight, Banana Mountain in the baked Alaska desert, somewhere in the United States. That's a desert. What could be more innocent than a multi-megaton test explosion of a new kind of atomic bomb, one that blows things up but leaves a tangy, lemon-fresh, sparkling cleanliness behind? Hey, Banana Mountain, dear oh dear. I wonder how it got such a strange name. Perhaps it was once yellow. Our highly skilled operatives are moving the bomb into position now, sir. We'll let off an atom bomb, when it blows we'll be welcome. Safely back inside our roofs, lock our ears when it goes boom. Well, we're ready to make banana split, Professor. No, no, no. You will disturb the slumber of the banana god. He has slept for a million years. Beware. Dear, oh dear. Who is this man? Oh, just one of the local superstitious natives who always turn up in these films uttering dire warnings that everybody ignores. Do not unleash your awesome engines of destruction, or the blubber harvest will fail. The haddock will wither on the vine. He's obviously barking mad. All too common among Mexicans, I fear. Ten seconds. Nine. Sorry. Eleven seconds. Uh, eight. Uh, oh, I hate counting backwards. Uh, six. Seven. Quickly. Quickly. Put these on. Uh, protective goggles? No. I just think they suit you. Five. Oh, that's uh, missed out seven. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Uh, three. Uh, two. Um, uh, oh, zero. Here we go. Here, Professor, and tell me what you see. A pair of binoculars. No, I mean look through them. Oh, oh good gravy. It's amazing. Red and angry like the pits of hell. Uh, that's a pimple yeah. on the back of the colonel's neck, sir. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Wait, I see it now. The mighty holocaust that rages at the heart of the atom. We gaze upon a sight that man has never not supposed to look upon. Yeah, kind of makes you want to rush out and invade a small country, don't it? You will pay for this dearly. Don't call me dearly. Colonel, Colonel, something's alive out there. It is the banana god. Suffering slide rules. A mighty beast from the dawn of time brought back to life. What awesome fate lies in store for humanity now? Plenty of smashed up buildings, big fights, and a few good car chases, I hope. Find out next week in the next exciting episode of Attack of the Atomic Banana. Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana. Innocent teenagers on an innocent beach, but little do these frolicking rock and roll and surf boarding hot rodders realize the horror that lies in wait for them. Anyway, serves them right, muscle bound bozos. I hate them. It's not my fault I was born fat. I got big bones. My mother fed me too much. Gee, Wacky, look at those tough guys, bent and steel bars with their bare teeth. Don't you just hate those show-offs? Not really. They pay for my acne cream. Duh, make way for the surf king, puny. You must be that creep hunk. It's written all over you. We interrupt the rootin' tootin' rock and roll hour to bring you this urgent news flash. Hey, cool it, you cats. There's something on the radio. A giant radioactive banana is reported to have devastated an atomic research station and to have escaped into the sea. Teenagers in the Wipeout Beach area are asked to refrain from surfing and take up cookery instead. So here's today's recipe. <laughs> Hey, hey, how do I look, buddies? Yeah, that's me. Tuck banana in a bunch. Ah! Jumping jukebox jockey shorts. It's heading this way. Quick, everybody. Honey. Yeah. Holy socks. Dirk, Burke, and Turk have gone bananas. Quick, Porky, lie down on top of us. But I'm not tired. No, stupid. With any luck, that far-out fruit will think you're a beached whale. <laughs> what? He said, it's working. It's leaving us alone. Now we've got to alert the authorities. Yeah, I thought he should. <laughs> Yo, Marshall, Marshall, Marshall here. My friends call me Marsh, 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 but you can call me Sir. What? Giant banana? There ain't no such thing as giant bananas. Beat it. Kick back, you horror. He won't listen. Okie dokie, this is real serious Aruni, Daddy O's. We're the only ones who know what's going on. Three lone teenagers against the most awesome piece of fruit that ever existed. Having disposed of the macho morons, the fearsome fruit peels off and stalks into the night, heading for the nearest breakable object, which happens to be Big City. Be here next week for the sheer unleashed terror that we call Mr. Wibble Wobble's Magic Orange Bicycle. Uh, sorry, I seem to have picked up the wrong script. Who put this in here? Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana.
A deadly banana from the dawn of time brought to life by man's meddling with atomic forces is on the rampage in a typical shoddily built American city. What can stop it? What can save humanity? What can make this banana split? Yeah, the root is the hey, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm on the rampage. <laughs> Take that, stupid building. Yeah, yeah, fuck little cars, get another my feet. Get out of the way. Uh-uh. Hey, where's the eerie music coming from? Ah, uh, shut up, creep. Whoa, he's slippy, ain't he? <laughs> oh, 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 I can't get up. Whoa, help, help. Meanwhile, at a nearby drive-in... He had to call you, Marshal. Ah, uh, good, because that's the only name I answer to. Marshal, Marshal, cool your jets. You'll flip your flaps when you hear what we gotta tell you. We've seen that banana. We know what it can do. Yeah, it can go sort of... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on the rampage. Ah, yeah. oh, what a crazy story. The world's gone nuts. Damn it, we need some answers. How about these? Answers, not antlers, nose wipe. Hmm, maybe Professor Brainsley Noggin at the Institute of Fruit Research will have some ideas. Meanwhile... Oh, duh, I just thought of a way I could get up. If only I could remember it. Oh, I better stand up and think about it. Oh, hey, wow, great. Not in the where was it? Oh, yeah, lying down. Lower the ground to banana missile, Clint. We'll skin him alive. <laughs> he got me. Clint, don't let my kids know that I died. Yella. Uh, uh, that oh. fall took it out of me. I feel kind of sick. I, uh, I see a doctor or even eat one. Uh, yeah, well, there's a kind of... There's a coin in this... Uh, there's a funny thing. So as our hero set off in Wacky's customized Ford Barfmobile, the banana also plans a visit to Professor Noggin. Can they take the banana into custard custody before the professor gets peeled? Find out next week. Bernice, did you type this? Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana. On their way to the Institute of Fruitology to consult banana expert Professor Brainsley Noggin, the lawman Marshall, 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 and our teenage heroes spot the atomic banana which has been terrorizing their community. It's the atomic banana which has been terrorizing our community. Hot dog. No, oh, it's definitely a banana. Heavy duty, tooty fruity. He's turned that tree into a banana. <laughs> He's trying to give us the slip. Don't worry, I'll eat my way through it. Mm -mm, great! <laughs> and at that moment, at the Institute of Fruitology, Professor Brainsley Noggin is giving a lecture to a skeptical audience. And the one with a hanky on his head is my cousin Carl. But that is enough of my holiday snaps. Back to my controversial, not to mention bonkers, theories. I believe that there was an era when the dominant life forms on Earth were huge, carnivorous, intelligent killer fruits. This was truly a period when bananas ruled the Earth. Nuts! No, bananas! No, surely if these things had existed, we would have found traces of them. Uh, discarded skins, petrified seeds, fossilized pith, uh, empty orange boxes? Not necessarily. I have another theory about prehistoric litter collectors. Rubbish! Holy underpants, what's happening? Oh, the room is shaking. Say, it's like an earthquake. It's, it's like, like an, an earthquake. earthquake. Say, the walls are cracking, the doors are coming off the hinges. The walls, the walls are, cracking, are cracking, the doors are coming off the hinges. Say, look outside. There's an enormous banana terrorizing the neighborhood, causing wanton destruction to people and properties. Say it yourself. Oh, my theories were right. Holy Swiss cheese, the end of Noggin is in sight. Looks like the professor's going to be eaten, and that nasty old banana is uh, going to c carry on being horrid to everyone. Uh, unfortunately, I seem to have lost the piece of paper with my exciting closing announcements on it, so uh, I'm just going to go home now, just to my humble little room. Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana. In the forbidden Egyptian city of Citrus, archaeologist Indiana Jones has violated the tomb of the god Fruit and Common, unleashing a mystical lust fruit basket of the pharaohs. But that's going on in another film, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Prunes. And don't you wish you were watching that? Anyway, back at our crummy movie, Professor Brainsley Noggin, perhaps the one man who can save the Earth, is about to be eaten alive by the giant atomic banana, raw, without even a spot of Ketchup. Well, oh, I don't worry, Professor. Why not? We'll do it for you. Okay. Oh, oh, why oh, worry? Fred, Fred, I'm Fred, really Fred, worried. Stay back. Stay back. There's only one chance. Open those doors behind you. I'll try tickling him to keep him occupied. You're making me laugh. Oh, that's a little teddy bear. Now, activate the power source inside. Uh, you may have to put 50 cents in the meter first. 
Wow, we can explode. I ain't never seen it's nothing awesome. like that. Oh, I'll come up and peel it sometime. Wow, hot diggity surfboarding transistor radio 3D bikinis. It's a freaky female banana. Curses, I have crumpled my calculations. Professor, what's going on here? I believe your radioactive banana has been subconsciously looking for another of his own kind, a mate. And luckily, by one of those amazing coincidences that happen in stupid films like this, I had built a female Bananasaurus robot. You mean? Yes, my creation and your banana will embrace and walk off into the sunset together and we'll all live happily ever after. Oh, let me squeeze. Yeah, but I don't lose it. You might be losing it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 maybe not. Oh, 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 she really lost her head over him. Crazy mixed up fruit salad. She's really gone to pieces. Completely cracked up. As an expert on the psychology of fruit, I can say, in my professional opinion, as a leading scientist, that that banana is, to use a technical phrase, a bit cross. This is so exciting, what more can I say? I could say, bing, bang, boo, don't put your underpants in the jam jar, Mr. Puzzlethwaite, but instead, I'll say, be here next week on a final thrilling installment of Attack of the Atomic Banana! Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana. All attempts to stop the rampage of the prehistoric atomic bananasaurus have failed. Now, in a frenzy of fruity fury, the berserk banana closes in on our little band of trapped heroes. Oh, it's so exciting, it makes me want to bang my head on a bucket. Tell me it isn't true. What? Tell me the postman pet is really just a puppet. Wait, I've got an idea. Listen, Porky. That's stupid, impossible, never in a million years, it never work. No one in your right mind would do that, you'd have to be crazy. There's a hamburger in it for you. I'm on my way. Now, while all this is going on, I'd just like to mention that as this is the final episode, I'll shortly be available to do announcements for advertisements, films, wedding speeches, and so on. I do a very nice line in after-dinner jokes, though some of them are a bit rude. <laughs> that reminds me, did you hear the one about Rolf Harris and the wombat with wind? Well, apparently... <laughs> Sorry, have to wait time to go back to the action. Bernice, look, my hospital bed! Sweet hot patootie and wing wang ding dong babaluma shooby dooby! He did it! Uh, what'd he do? Just watch! Where's my hamburger? Where's my hamburger? Oh, no, what's that come down? Hey, no, you can't leave me. No, let's pull me down, pull me down. You have that your main question. Oh, no, 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 this is the end for me. Oh, God. I remembered about this egg from an old movie I saw. I realized that if I could persuade Porky to capture it and bring it back here, our banana problem would be finito, Daddy-o. He really made a monkey out of that banana. Hey, where's my hamburger, you guys? You promised. <laughs> well, you crazy gum-chewing rock and rollers have certainly taught taught me a lesson or two. Yes, in this vast and strange universe of infinite possibilities where humans may one day walk on the sun and people can look at poor Daniels without protective clothing, we've learned that... <laughs> we did it, kids! Where's my hamburger? Groovy go-go beatnik hot rods. I feel a crazy closing musical number coming on. Hey, let's jive, cats and kittens! Let's! I just love... Hey, Chuck.